Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video I'm going to do another watch me work and we are going to do a fill with Vision Gel's Acrogel. Now this set is three weeks old and it is a complete Acrogel with the dual forms set. So let's just get started and see what we come up with. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is push back the cuticles. Took you like a shy, thought that I could chase you with a cold evening. Let a couple years water down how I'm feeling about you. I couldn't believe it. There's absolutely no lifting whatsoever. I don't know why this surprises me. <laughs> I've had such amazing results using Vision Gel and this was the first time that I used the Acro Gel with the dual forms on someone other than myself and these held up really really well. Absolutely no lifting after three weeks and she could have gone longer but her nails were too long to begin with so she wanted to fill and to shorten them a bit. Okay next step is to go in with my cuticle bit from Exclusive Nail Couture. And then the last step in my cuticle prep is using my diamond moon bit. Okay, now that the prep work is done, I'm going to take my Nova Flare Coarse Carbide bit and debulk the nails and shorten them. So here I'm twisting her finger like this was my silicone hand. Oops. <laughs> Next I take my safety bit from Exclusive Nail Couture and smooth out the growth area. And with a fine arbor band, I go over the natural nail very gently and remove any last little bit of shine and any little bit of color that might be left over. Then with the medium zebra file, I go in and perfect the shape. Took you like a shot, thought that I could chase you with a cold evening. Let a couple years water down how I'm feeling. Once I am done filing, I will wipe the nails with pure acetone. This will get rid of the dust and dehydrate the natural nail. I gotta 
Now because my daughter is a problem lifter, I am going in with a two-in-one base coat and applying it to the natural nail. Now I am getting some of it on the Acrogel, but you don't need to. Because we are doing a fill with Acrogel, Acrogel will stick to Acrogel. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. Okay, I have some alcohol in my little dampen dish and my brush that I'm going to use and we are going to apply the Acrogel. And this is the pink and it's number eight. Here I switched out to my number 10 Enel Couture acrylic brush because unfortunately when you do use acetone or alcohol to spread the Acrogel, it does dry out your brushes and phrase them. I need to find a specific brush for this product, but I would suggest either using monomer with your acrylic brushes because your acrylic brushes are made for monomer or buy several inexpensive brushes. We got unfinished business And I'll regret it if I didn't say this isn't what it could be You could break my heart in two But when it heals it beats for you I know it's forward but it's true What I love about Acrogel is you can have the hand tilted sideways like this and the gel is not going to go anywhere like it would with a builder gel and it's not going to dry up on you like an acrylic does so you're not racing against time or gravity. After curing, wipe the dispersion layer off with alcohol. Then I take a medium zebra file and do my regular filing routine just to get the shape perfected and then I will go in with my e-file and smooth out the nails. Took you like a shot, thought that I could chase you with a cold evening Let a couple years water down, how I'm feeling about you And every time we talk, every single word builds up to this moment And I gotta convince myself I don't want it, even though I do You could break my heart in two, but when it heals it beats for you I know it's forward, but it's true After using my safety bit to debulk the nails and smooth out any lumps and bumps, I will take my medium zebra file again and do my finish filing. Then I will take a coarse sponge buffer and go over all the nails just to make sure that there's no dips and crannies and crannies? Crannies? <laughs> dips and valleys. <laughs> We have to make sure the nail is smooth before we apply the color. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. We never got it right, playing and replaying old conversations, overthinking every word, and I hate it because it's not me. And what's the point of hiding? Everybody knows we got unfinished business, and I'll regret it if I didn't say this isn't what it could be. You could break my heart in two, but when it heals, it beats for you. I know it's forward, but it's true. So the first color we are going to use. Did I just smack her? <laughs> I didn't even know I did that. Okay, so we're gonna take this beautiful red color. 
This is number two or zero zero two and it's one of my favorite vision gel colors. I can't believe I smacked her hand. <laughs> And for the other two fingers, we decided on number 158, which is this beautiful pearlized white shimmer. This is a gorgeous color. Because the pink from the aqua gel was showing through, I wanted to go in with a second coat and I did cure this for 30 seconds before applying the second coat. Now the red didn't need a second layer on, but I thought I would put a second thin coat on anyway. I think I was more curious to see if the color would build up more or not, but it was fine with one coat and it looked amazing with two coats. So I think it's just personal preference. Now because gems never stay on my daughter for any more than a couple of days, I thought I would give Stick It from Ugly Duckling a try and see how this product holds up for her. I really like this product because you can take your time and place the crystal exactly where you want it. And here I'm just putting a little bit more product around the crystal but not on it because I am placing these studded circles around the gem itself. So after I get the gems exactly where I want it, I am going to cure this for about 60 seconds in my LED lamp. Now I'm going to finish this set off with Vision Gel's Super Shine Non-Wipe Top Coat and I'm going to cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. This top coat is amazing. I've said this before, look for it in a favorites video coming up. Everybody knows we got unfinished business and I'll regret it if I didn't say this isn't what it could be. So now I'm going to take my 180 grit file and just perfect the shape. Now I'm not breaking the seal of the top coat by filing because I am using very light pressure. And now we are going to take Vision Gel's cuticle oil. I am really enjoying this cuticle oil. You need very little. I mean, look, I got it all over me and her and it was one little droplet. And I find this cuticle oil soaks in so well and it does not leave a greasy feel at all. It looks thick and it looks like there's a lot of oil going on here, but it soaks right into the skin and I really like that. And my clients are really enjoying this cuticle oil as well. Last step is LCN Super Shine Finish Cleaner and this makes the nails super shiny and squeaky clean. I love this stuff. And here's the finished result. Oh my gosh, I love this red. It is beautiful. And I do want to let you know that these gems did stay on. They're still on. And it's been over a week already. There you go, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have any questions. As always, don't forget to follow me on my social media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.